Today we are making a couple stops in Logan, West Virginia. Logan is the county seat of Logan County and home to close to 2,000 people. The city is a long way from its heyday in the 1940s when it was home to around 5,000 people. But you can still see a lot of the architecture that resulted from its growth before the end of World War II. Logan has seen a lot during its history. In 1921, it was at the center of the Cold Wars. Over a million rounds were fired before the army stepped in to end the conflict. Now, let's take a coffee break at the Hot Cup. This hidden gym is full of movie memorabilia that makes for an amazing atmosphere to drink your favorite carbonated beverage. is far from its golden age, but there are still plenty of businesses around. A simple walk through the downtown and you will see that the city still has life left in it. There are even some creative work inspired by a favorite comic book hero. A short drive out of town, you will find the Chief Logan State Park. This state park has a lot to offer anyone looking for beautiful scenery and the opportunity to spend some time in nature. We found this peaceful fish pond. Even if you are not interested in catching fish, it makes a great place to sit and reflect on life. Don't forget to pay a visit to the local residents. The park also features a great visitor center. Let's drive over and have a look. Outside, you will find several things of interest including this old train engine from the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway. It is a great example of the engineering skills of the time. There's more to say before going in. Let's go have a look. This monument is in remembrance of coal miners who have died in accidents over the years. May they rest in peace. And of course, the statue of the park's namesake, Chief Logan. Now, let's go inside and have a look at the museum and the gift shop. If you are looking for a West Virginia souvenir, the gift shop not only offers items specific to the park, but also for the state as well. Now, let's see what the museum has to offer. At the front, you will find an exhibit honoring West Virginians who have served in the military. Here's an example of an old store. Look at all the amazing artifacts they have from earlier times. Also on display are some local works of art. This one reminds me of an owl. 
Once trans played a very important role in West Virginia, and still do to some extent even today. Here's a model of the train we saw parked out front. Don't miss the display of artifacts from Logan's earliest inhabitants, the Native Americans. Check out this covered wagon. I have tried to imagine people moving across the country with those. To me, it takes too long with a car on the freeway. I can imagine months in the wilderness. All in all, this is a fantastic museum and is free to enter. If you find yourself in Logan, be sure to stop in for a look. Now let's go back into town to explore some of what Logan has become over the years. Unfortunately, the declining population has led to hard economic conditions and many of the residents struggle. Another symptom of the declining population is the derelict buildings. Without residents caring for them, many have fallen into serious disrepair. Also visible are the scars of fires that have broken out, in some cases deliberate. Other homes have simply been left to cave in. Despite the hard times, this small town is hopeful about the future and has a lot to offer. Be sure to stop if you find yourself passing through. You will be welcomed. The city will be glad you choose to stop and visit. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.